A long time ago, Al Swiger taught me how to make password locker in Python, but it was on command line. Today I show you how I quickly build a graphical interface to create, read, update, and delete password entries using Flat and SQL Lite 3. As subscribers have requested, I'll use data table and alert dialog, so if you want to see more quick tutorials like this, then like and subscribe. We start with the usual activation of a virtual environment and installing Flat. We write separate DB logic in flat.py files. We start our DB script defining our database location and ensure that there is a database there. Create has three parameters. Read. We define get all get by service name handle and ID. Update. We update by ID and new password. Delete. By unique ID only. For the UI, we import the necessary and write our boilerplate organizing into page customization, control logic, and the actual controls. I chose to organize my project this way so I can continuously get feedback on the UI as I make new edits. This project gives us the opportunity to use this text field as a search box and to use a flat switch to modify those search parameters. These search parameters are then populated into a flat data table. The way I like to work through these flat controls is by first, defining how they will look, second, determining what logic is needed to make them useful, and placing those empty callbacks for later use in their own section, third, add them to the page, and finally, defining the callback logic. Most complex is the data table which will be headed by service and account. We do not display the passwords as those will be sent to the clipboard. By default, the table will be headed by text fields that accept new account passwords. Data table is a material design table that is defined in descending order with a data table control which holds data columns which hold corresponding data rows, all of which take various styling parameters as required. In our case, we hard code the data table and the columns. However, the data rows will be dynamically produced. The data table takes the returns from the SQL queries and parses them to deliver to the user. We will interact with existing database entries by clicking or long pressing the account name. I use lambda functions so my logic can accept arguments made from the parse data. Rather than clicking a search button, queries are made each time the search box value changes, either for account name or service provider name, depending on the switch. Adding or editing a password will pop up a dialog box that accepts a new password. Notice that the dialog box exists only within the scope of the respective callback. To handle the dialog box, we must define open, close, and submit functions. This is reminiscent of my flat Firebase tutorial where we used a similar kind of productive alert dialog box. While clicking sends the password to the clipboard, long pressing engages with its own dialog box that can edit or delete an existing password similar to the add feature. Just like that we have a pretty little project complete. This was based on your comment requests. I look forward to doing more like these. If you are interested in another quick walkthrough, then click on this video.